I've met a lot of amazing, what I consider now friends, over playing years of Siege. I'm in a position that allows me to not necessarily worry about the money and cost of running a league. I mean, having my own career outside of this helps. It was really a labor of love, so if I'm in the position to better others, I feel like that's very important for me personally. I'm Rob Walker. I am the founder of the Cyber Athlete Championship Series, but people will know it as CCS. I am in project management for a career. I'm technically a business analyst. I've got two kids, a four-year-old named Baron and a two-year-old named Rex, and I am married to my wife, Bethany. When I started rugby, we actually had a math teacher that was fresh out of college who really liked rugby, and he would show us some um, videos of him playing. He started giving up like actual nights of his week, which was really impressive to see. You didn't want to let other people down, and you wanted to work together to improve, so I think it was actually his attention mixed with uh, rugby as a whole helped me uh, get into that serving mentality or that teamwork focused mentality. I have always been a competitive person. I love tactical shooters. When I was little, my first game that I ever competed in was Delta Force. And years, years later, we saw a beta for Rainbow Six and my brother-in-law actually said we should pick the game up. I got hooked, he didn't, and I continued to play it ever since. So I'm getting older, my eyesight's getting worse, my reaction times are getting worse, so I feel like I missed my pro league window. <laughs> I actually ran into another old PC pro at the time who was looking to put together a league because there was only one league. It was either pro league or nothing. He looked to me for my organization skills, my big picture ideas to do it, and we ended up starting CCS. CCS is where I started. It was the first big amateur league that came about in our community, and it was run with volunteer work and lots of love. For me, it was the only source of competition I could do because I was underage for, you know, four years playing Siege, and I always thrive to, you know, be a reasonably competitive level and it was just, it was, it was fantastic. It, it gives everybody the opportunity to do what they love. So CCS turned out to be going from a tournament organizer perspective to serving the community perspective. I think that's one of the recent uh, changes with uh, Jess Bolden coming to us asking to design a women's league or if we'd be willing to support it. We really jumped on it because we're aware of Goddess, we're aware of Luna down in the APAC region. These, there are so many good women's players. A bunch of our friends' wives all play and playing in platinum, diamond level ranks. It's like, we know they can play, but it just sucks that they get harassed all the time for no reason. We're gonna focus on the people that wanna be here and we're gonna focus on developing their talents and when you see the influx of women saying, I really enjoyed competitive Rainbow Six, screw with the other thing. That's, that's really what it was about. I think it's gonna be a great opportunity to open some doors for women in gaming. Um, I know it's really hard for a woman to enter into that scene. So I think this is really going to be an eye opener, not just for the women playing, but also the people watching and even companies trying to represent them as well. CCS's responsibility is to expand the platform to players that are too young or might not be the right skill set at the time, but it's our responsibility to develop these younger players into chasing their dreams. It's extremely important for people to dream as a whole. I feel like through dreamers, some ideas that we're years away from someone's dream that actually becomes the norm or the next best thing, and it's exciting. There's always gonna be different view, different mindsets that we haven't thought of, and it just takes one person to dream it, wonder why it's not happening and how they can make it happen. It's beautiful that there are people that take those positions because most people would wanna compete, they would wanna be a caster, they would wanna be visible in some way, and he kinda lives in the shadow. And, and does some extremely good work where he highlights people and, and get them into the position that they want to be. Seeing the success of others for me personally, I don't know if it's being the parent in me, it's I like the nurturing side of it. I like 
teaching because I'm not going to be here forever, so it's really neat to see others succeed and to learn and to keep pushing it. <laughs>